Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making tiger cookies. So everything you see on my cutting board is what we're going to use to make these tiger cookies. And if you're wondering why they're called tiger cookies, if you look in the large bowl all the way to the right, those are frosted flakes. You know the ones with the famous tiger on the box? So we're going to start out with a large bowl, which we're putting two sticks of butter in that has been softened, basically melted. And then to this, we are going to add one cup of sugar. And once we get this in the bowl, we're going to go ahead and mix this up completely. You want this to be really smooth and mixed through. You don't want any large amounts of sugar anywhere. Just keep blending it. You use a whisk. You can actually do this by hand. You don't need a mixer to do it. And just keep going at it until you get this completely mixed through. Now, at some point as we're mixing up all the ingredients, if you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, these are going to cook for 10 to 12 minutes. Now to our mixture, we are adding one teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're going to add in two eggs, one at a time, to make sure that we break up the yolks. And we're going to continue to mix this until everything is completely mixed through. So there's our first egg. It's always wise to break open the yolk before you start mixing it, and just keep blending it through with the rest of the ingredients. And there's the second egg. These cookies are really easy to make. There's not really a lot of ingredients going into it. One thing you will notice though, once they're cooked and done, you want these to cool completely before you try to eat them. They have a bit of a crunch to them because that's from the Frosted Flakes. But they have such a sweet, good taste to them and then the chocolate's gonna end up on top of these really gives it a kick. So continue mixing until everything is completely incorporated and then we are gonna start to add two cups of self-rising flour. And once we get that done, we are adding in three cups of frosted flakes. Now you want these crushed up into smaller bits. You don't want the size that comes in the box. So take whatever you have to crunch them up with and do that before you put them into the mix. And then once they're in, we're going to mix these through and fold them into what already is in our mixing bowl. So we're gonna mix this through completely and then we're gonna put these onto a lined baking pan, which basically I use parchment paper. And then we're gonna drizzle chocolate over top of it, which means you probably need about three ounces of chocolate or so melted to put on top. Now, some people do take the chocolate and mix it through the mix, like in ribbons to have, you know, a little bit of an effect when you make these cookies. I found that kind of, it turns out a little bit messy sometimes. So I don't do that. I just actually drizzle my chocolate over top. Either way, you're still getting the chocolate with the cookie. So as you can see, I'm putting decent amounts of this onto my baking pan. And once you get your pan filled up, like I said, 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes until these start to be a little golden around the edges and you're gonna drizzle your chocolate over top before you put it in the oven. And you can put as little or as much chocolate as you want on top of these. Now mind you, as they spread out a little bit, the chocolate will spread as well. And when they come back from the oven, they'll look something like this. And these have a great sweet taste if you really have a sweet tooth. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and at bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.